my guess, is rumored to be dating the old, old Spice, Spice guy. guy. <laughs> the guy your guy no, could bitch. smell like. He's a, he has tickets to the thing you love. Well, the thing I love. But I think it's just as, he's just as much geared towards gay men as he is towards oh, straight yeah. women. He's gorgeous. Oh, sure. I don't know what he's doing with her, but... Yeah, she's done. It. Yeah, how many times has she been with how many different guys? Yeah, so really. this just fits into her whole it just, scheme of things. It's just kind of a funny, off. I don't know why it's news. So we're not <laughs> talking about it anymore. So yeah, look for those two out in public. If you see them, yeah. take a picture and put it online. Yeah, somewhere. definitely, definitely. Send it to us. Prove it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> so okay, in current events, getting off all the celebrity trash, and what's really meaningful to us and what's happening in our world. Um, don't ask, don't tell. Get rid. Get rid of it. I think it's just appalling that it's even still in incorporated into our our government and into our military at this point mm -hmm. because I think we're not giving our military enough credit, the men and women that serve. I mean, come on, they're open minded, smart. They're putting individuals. their lives on the line for this country. Who cares they don't, if they're gay or not? They don't care. They know that they're just as willing to protect their gay comrade next to them as they are their straight comrade. They don't care. It's all one team. They're all fighting for the same cause, and we appreciate our men and women in service. So they've been talking about repealing this for the last four years, and but Obama was talking about doing it when he got been elected. A hot so issue. and that's what I was hoping. Well, that's what I was hoping the most from Obama, and and it seems like he's taken his long, you know, long, long health care medicine cabinet way <laughs> to get here. Yeah. He came through the medicine cabinet. Yeah. But he's here so. now, and so I guess they have. Uh, the House has passed the amendment, the to, amendment to repeal, repeal it. it, so they're going to vote on it this later this year sometime, I'm not sure, but the vote went from 234, 194, 4. Repealing, repealing Donuts, don't tell. Yay. Don't tell. So Good job, House of Representatives. Huge progress. Now we're just waiting on the Senate to do the same thing, and they better right, dang right. right. And so hopefully that will open up new uh, avenues that, I mean, I can't even believe we're talking about this, and this is a, 2010 an issue, <laughs> but, you know. Hopefully, gay marriage will be next, and it will be actually equal white, equal, equal <laughs> whites. Because you know all them white people, people if we want. Them white people. Yeah. Oh, the white man came. Anyway, so uh, no, so equal rights for everybody. You know. Yeah, that shouldn't be a question. It, it shouldn't should just, just be a slogan. Happen. It should be an actual practice. Yeah. So, um, oh, get this. Did you hear about the thing about Home Depot? What's going on there? You didn't hear anything about Home Depot? Well, okay, the American Family Association has been uh, dogging them since they let their employees march in gay pride, gay pride parades all over across the country. With their uh, banners. With their banners. It just has a Home Depot stamp on the front and so says that we support diversity in our workplace. Well, they're supporting... And there's no problem with that. They're people. They're people, you know, they would support... They just want a diverse workforce. That and that includes, them. you know, all races. All creeds, all, all national ages, all origin, sexes, origins, and everybody. Yeah, and I'm including gay people, so which proud. We support. So proud of Home Depot for standing up for that. So you know, the totally. American what is it? The American Family Association yeah. is really Screw just like a themselves. you know. <laughs> not ever. I'm sorry. I don't have children. I don't desire to have children. So I don't see why they should be censoring Home Depot. But see, I don't even. It's really not even think like a family that. company. It's not even specifically like it's the children's place clothing store or anything like that. It's, it's a, it's a hardware store, and they have gay and straight customers. I'm very sure because we're oh, yeah. all walks I of life. I shop there. So yeah, <laughs> right. I'm just shop there. Thank you. Izzy Home loves him some Home Depot, mm -hmm. and so this is a significant other. Yes. Spend all night there if you could. I've had to be dragged <laughs> to Home Depot, but he won't come into Mac. I like that. All right. So, um, yeah, so that's what's going on right now in, uh, oh, in that uh, department that uh, it's pretty much just getting stupid with the uh, anti-defamation league and all, and that one oh, is a Hillsborough church protesting oh, okay. Lady Gaga's concerts because she supports gay rights and gay people, and she's a very large gay it. advocate. We love some Gaga, in yeah. case anybody didn't know. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, Bill O'Reilly actually surprised me. He's asked, uh, he's asked President Obama to stop enforcing don't ask, don't tell. So that would be the first step in the right direction, getting the Senate to vote on it. I mean, if Bill O'Reilly, I mean, I personally don't like Bill O'Reilly, I don't like Fox News at all, but I know you guys watch it. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> dissenting opinions. But Bill O'Reilly has really, you know, shocked me with that. I'm, I'm 
right behind him if I don't yeah. know that one. It's very interesting. I'm happy he's done it too. So that was our, uh, this is our episode, and we'll be getting back to you next week with another episode of The Trashy Corner. Thanks, Thanks for guys. Going.